what's going on everybody welcome to another episode of the Cino Files I'm your host CM Palmer and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to put the PlayStation 4 console into safe mode slash recovery mode so there's been a lot of talk discussions um, Twitter posts about you know it does the PS4 have a safe mode how do you get it in the safe mode it's uh, really very simple uh, first thing you have to do is make sure the console is completely powered down um, no status bar LED light going across the top. Uh, and then the first thing you need to do is press and hold the power button. The light will go blue and you'll hear one beep. And then about uh, seven seconds later, you'll hear another beep. And then you can just let go. So now console is completely powered off. If I power the console back up, just press the power button once, it will come on. Now I need to adjust my TV input real quick. And over to the TV. And now you will see that the PlayStation has rebooted and has asked me to connect my DualShock 4 with the USB cable, which is what I've already done. So I'm just going to go ahead and push the PlayStation button. And now we are in safe mode. Now just as in the PS3, there are a bunch of options. You can restart the console. You can change the resolution in case you're switching TVs. Um, you can update the system software, so if you're updating from a USB stick, um, and you want to do it in a safe mode, this is probably the recommended way to do it. You can restore your console to the default factory settings, so any of the notification settings that you've made changes to, trophy pops, things like that. Uh, you can reset all of those here. You can rebuild the database, so if you think you have any corrupted data, uh, either with a game install or a game download, go ahead and click this button. Um, six and seven are probably the two most uh, destructive items on the menu here. These will actually reset your PS4 completely. Um, one will reinstall the system software uh, to what it was completely out of the box. Um, the other one just reinitializes everything on the PS4 um, without a system software reinstall. But that is about it for this menu. Um, I do know one thing though is when you do restart the PlayStation 4, so I'm going to click this option here, um, don't get too scared. The PlayStation will uh, reboot on you. It'll shut down uh, and it will turn back on and it will automatically perform a system check. So it'll boot up in the PlayStation and then you will see it run through. The status light on the console will actually go blue. And in a second here, we get a progress that's checking the system storage. So. Kind of like with the PS3 days, if your system got turned down, um, locked up, uh, something like that, and you had to restart it, it kind of went through this self-diagnostic before uh, the complete boot up, uh, which is good to know. You know, it seems that Sony's, uh, you know, continued to carry some things through to the PlayStation 4 days. Um, but what else they will add to this menu or how else we will be able to exploit this menu has yet to be determined. Um, but then after, you know, it does cycle a few times, it does that check. We then reboot right into the PlayStation and you will see the PlayStation 4 typical console UI screens. And we are now booted up. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you get questions, comments. If you guys want to see something else with the PlayStation 4, the UI, the menus, um, how to do other things. I do have a couple ideas about uh, some of the settings that I can do some other tutorials on. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. Okay, everybody. Uh, today's shout out is going to go out to a pretty important scene member, uh, Gregory Rasputin. He is a, uh, a buddy of mine on Twitter. Um, we've chatted back and forth. Uh, he is a very high profile, highly respected member of the PS3 hacking scene. Um, he's very outspoken. 
Um, but, so, you know, that's what people like about him. He tells you right up front and in your face exactly how he feels uh, about certain things, topics, whether it's uh, politics, uh, PlayStation hacking, anything like that. Um, he is upfront about it and doesn't hide his feelings. Um, but that's what makes this, makes the guy great. Uh, as you can see, this is his Twitter page, um, twitter.com slash Gregory Rasputin. Uh, he is also one of the leading members of the PS3 hacks. Uh, that's hax.net um, forum and website. As you can see here, he's a super moderator. He's got some godlike abilities at level 30. Um, the guy's just a beast on the forums, uh, always posting, always responding. Um, he's got new stuff going all the time, as you can just see here uh, from some his some of his recent activities. Um, you know, four minutes ago, he, you know, he's up and he's always doing something for the scene, in the scene, um, active on Twitter, active on the forums. Uh, check him out. Follow him on a, on a Twitter. Um, become his friend on the forum. Uh, just don't piss him off. Uh, that's my recommendation. Uh, but again, great guy. Uh, so today's shout outs out to Greg. Take care.